Hi, my name is Victor Mayra Wilches, and I'm here today to introduce you my Google Summer of Code project, the Bigger Ross project, which is uh, about the integration of the BeagleBone and the robot operative system. This project uh, is being mentored by Cohen Coy. Just to get started, I'd like to give you a bit of an overview about myself. I'm a student of a double degree uh, in electrical engineering and in computer science. I'm graduating this year and over the last years I've been involved in some projects mainly related to embedded systems and, and robotics. Yeah. So let's dive into the technologies, these two technologies that I'm going to put together, the BeagleBone and Rust. The first one is, is the BeagleBone. A credit card sized Linux computer with, with plenty of IOs and and processing power enough processing power for real time analysis provided by, by a TI AM3359 system on chip based on an ARM Cortex A8. Uh, the BeagleBone ships with a 4 GB micro SD card preloaded with uh, the Angstrom distribution, that is the one that we will use for this project. I'll talk a bit more later. And well, it has, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it has 66 uh, GPIOs, Ethernet, JTAG for debugging. Well, quite a complete card, uh, credit card size Linux computer. Next technology is ROS, the Robot Operative System, which provides an abs a hardware abstraction, uh, device drivers, libraries, uh, and so on. Uh, in a nutshell, uh, ROS is a software framework for robot software development, providing uh, operative system-like functionality. Uh, it's ROS nowadays is being used in different places, quite in a lot of places actually around the world, and quite a lot of users are asking for this ARM ROS integration, which is not so clear yet. The BeagleBone is also being used, I mean, worldwide, so I believe that putting together these two technologies could basically benefit, be for the benefit of, of quite a lot of people. In order to achieve this integration, the project uh, will use uh, the MetaRos and the Angstrom distribution. Let's, let's get started, let's hear a bit about what's the MetaRos. Well, MetaRos is, is basically um, a layer which provides a uh, ROS Groovy Galapagos uh, in an open embedded Linux system. Uh, it's currently being developed and, and provides basically ROS communication packages nowadays but uh, it's a work in progress uh, and well uh, there's a high, high expectations about this, this project and then, then we have the, the Angstrom distribution, which is a, a Linux distribution for, for a variety of, of embedded devices. Uh, it's basically the result of uh, unification of developers from, from different projects, Open Sarus, Open Embedded, and Open Simpad. And these are the, the two main points, I mean the two starting points that the project will, will get. So let's, let's use check out the, the roadmap and what's gonna happen in the following weeks well week one is just about to start and during this week uh, I'll be deploying and testing the MetaRos over the BeagleBone running uh, an Angstrom distribution through these last weeks these preparation weeks I've been uh, getting more and more familiar with the Angstrom distribution there's already an Angstrom distribution running on my BeagleBone and well, this this first week I'll be focused into deploying this MetaRos and make it run at uh, at, at the BeagleBone. Basically, the, the goal will be will be to to get ROS ping working. Weeks two, three, four, and five will be focused about the the tutorials uh, detailed at the the ROS uh, wiki webpage. Uh, which is detailed right there and well we will start from the fifth one because the, the first ones are, are just basic stuff which which probably I'll deal with them in the first week and and basically the aim is to 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 see what's working what's not what's 
what needs to be done and, and start diving on it. Well, around week six, uh, I expect to have uh, sort of the ROS functionality covered and it will be time to get started with, with the capes, the bigger bone capes, which are all these nice uh, add, uh, I mean hardware add-ons that you could put on the on the bigger bone providing light or Wi-Fi or cameras or sensors so so it's it's quite nice the bigger bone the big platform so why not I mean just simplify this and, and use ROS for this right so since since the drivers are already are already there there's no real need to rewrite drivers for us uh, basically what you what I would need to do it's uh, it's just to publish the, the drivers information to a ROS topic and for this week I'd like to explore this path because it's it's well it's basically the, the simplest way of, of achieving this this ROS capes uh, I mean ROS BeagleBone capes integration once I get comfortable with that uh, publishing thing week 7 and 8 will be dedicated to integration of ROS and the audio cape and uh, weeks 9 and 10 will be uh, used for the integration of motors and uh, IMUs we probably will be using uh, the MPU 9150 if I'm not mistaken it's an even sense sensor uh, which provides nine, uh, 9 degrees nine sorry nine yeah nine sensor three accelerometers three magnetometers and yeah three uh, gyroscopes uh, the motors so that's basically what's what's su what I'm supposed to do during weeks nine and ten and well weeks twelve and sorry eleven and twelve will be dedicated to documentation and finally week thirteen will be dedicated to an overall review and analysis of the bigger ROS integration well uh, the resources and where I'm where I will be publishing my my work through this summer are basically through the github and the blog of the bigger boss project uh, well this is it for the for the introduction hope you guys uh, enjoyed this little introduction and hopefully this uh, this Google summer of code project uh, will be for the benefit of, of a lot of people thanks